Hey guys, good evening everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Miss JD for another episode of our daily stock market insights. And in this video, I am going to cover three stocks uh, which I feel are looking very attractive at the moment based on their technical uh, setup. Okay, so if this is the type of video you want to watch every single day or you are starting your journey in the stock market, I think this is the channel for you. So feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos. All right, so right on my screen, you see, before I get started, I'm just uh, going to talk about the index really quickly. Uh, so we ended green or red? It's red. Um... We ended red today. Um, reason for that is because uh, we dipped when the market opened. So we started around 6,957.85, but the overall sentiment uh, throughout the day was really um, for the price to move higher. That's why you were, you will see green here, uh, but from the previous day's performance, uh, we're slightly lower. Okay, we're slightly lower than previous day's. Uh, uh, price as you can see right there it's very very near so we ended at uh, ended at six nine seven three okay and the previous day oh we don't see it what was six nine seven three 6977 the previous day all right so there you have it um volume is still there but uh just know that we are approaching we are already at the overbought level for our index see that so that means um the stocks that you're holding that are in uh, the uh, index or included in the index could potentially be reaching a, an overbought level two or could be a profit taking area already that's so why um, you'll see that over here. However, there are still some that are really looking very attractive at the moment. So we'll wait and see. That, uh, for now, I see the nearest resistance to be around the 7,091 area. And that is because if you look to the left, uh, the nearest one I can see right now is this one, 791. Okay, maybe there could be more. Although, I also see another line here, possible resistance at the 7,015. So just take note of that. Uh, we're already approaching some profit-taking levels right now for our index. So just be extra careful if um, your uh, stock that's already that's included in the index are already showing some you know, signs that uh, it's already a bit expensive. Lock in some gains, okay? And... Uh, yeah, just follow along. Maybe uh, these stocks can also be covered in uh, my uh, analysis in the coming days. But for now, I want to focus on three stocks. First would be BSC. Okay, BSC, as you can see right now, uh, we had a solid green, which uh, ended at 12.82% 12, 12 gain in just one day. And... Um, the reason why I'm saying that this stock is looking very, very promising is because we won, okay? The increase in the price is supported by good volume. Look at that. This is a big volume that happened today. Number two, we officially crossed the MA20 line and we're, tr we're triggering the upper band coming from a very constricted uh, Bollinger Band in the past how many days. So normally if we trigger a constricted uh, Bollinger Band, chances are there will be continuation. So if we are to look back how it performed in the past, uh, look at how this thing happened over here. Constricted Bollinger Band and then we triggered, but don't expect too much guys okay it's not an overnight thing sometimes it could stay in that level for several days so my take here right now that's why i want to mention this as early as possible so that you could already um, uh, have a position early okay earlier than the rest and uh, right now i could see one fluctuation to happen 
or it could even continue uh, accelerating. We have no control, but uh, it's up to you if you can, uh, one, watch the market the entire day even better. But right now, let's say you're also working and uh, you're okay to enter around, let's say, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, or 0.81. Uh, just to provision some uh, uh, area, like a yeah, uh, tolerable area for a possible uh, pullback. Because this 12.82%, some could would already take profit there and it would put the, the price lower. So in case tomorrow there will be fluctuations, at least your order will be hit. That is if you cannot watch the market 100% of the time. So the support I am looking at right now would be around the 0.81. So uh, anywhere between 0.81 to 0.88 for me is already a buy uh, level. Uh, another thing that I want you guys to take note of is look at this one. We have <clears throat> started to, you know, trigger. We've broken the uh, downtrend channel. You have that entire one one candlestick above the downtrend uh, resistance right there. So in the past, each time it goes up, it does not go beyond that line. And right now we've broken out of that. So we could be establishing some higher highs and higher lows in the coming days. So your call, 0.81 to 0.88, for me is already a buy signal. But mind you guys, one thing that's not covered in this discussion is the fundamental analysis. So Try to look at the uh, fundamentals of the stock. See if this is something you want to engage in in, in mid, mid to long term um, uh, perspective. Okay, because sometimes it takes a little while before our target price will be hit. So are you willing to stay in the stock for you know an extended period of time? Otherwise, um, you have to watch the market full time and uh, take profit in you know minimal gains that you achieve in this stock. Okay. The next is tech. All right, tech also giving also giving us some promising uh, signs here. One, we ended with seven point seventy five percent gain today. It's fine. Two, the volume is there. All right, see that the shift in the volume in the past we were just flatlining in this level, but today we had a significant increase in the volume. At the same time, we've triggered the upper Bollinger Band. We stayed flat over here for the you know several days, but the fluctuations are a bit higher than the previous stock. But I still consider this as uh, you know just a little flat. If you look at the weekly chart, see that we're still flat. You just see some big waves or big ups and downs because we're on a daily chart. Number two or number three, I forgot the number. Another indicator that would give us, or indication that would give us an idea that we have also broken out of the um, downtrend uh, channel here is this one. Okay, we've broken out of that. This is it. See that each time we hit this level, we bounce and then we decline. The next time we bounce, we're slightly lower than the previous one. And then we decline again, and then we're lower than the previous one. So that is why um, we are, you know, uh, still in, a, in that downtrend uh, uh, channel. Well, you already had your first signal actually here that we're about to face a possible reversal or change in direction. Because right here, when we declined, we just stayed at the MA20 level, which is now higher than the previous low. So the next possible action here is a continuation to the upside the next probably the next question you'd ask me where do i enter uh for me a good entry would be around the 596 if the market gives you a chance right there but if you know and you uh believe in the fundamentals again uh anywhere between 596 to 6 peso okay 610 is fine 596 to 610 is an okay is an okay level in fact wherever it is at right now is an okay level um there's still a big potential for this stock to move even more like higher look at that look at the big picture look at the the massive decline in the past uh, months if you are to look at the monthly chart uh, where are we seated look at that we stayed flat and that's a good thing because the 
the selling sentiment has stopped you know we've exhausted the the selling pressure there so after we've exhausted that we stayed flat and that's normally how it looks like we decline like this one we decline we flat and then we increase we decline we flat and chances are we will increase also if you already notice that's monthly okay remember that we started increasing our volume here as well on a monthly chart. So per per candlestick here is worth one month. If you are to look at the weekly chart, of course, there's a little bit of a noise there, but uh, still the same. Okay, we're still flat. So good luck. Hopefully you guys are able to, you know, uh, sustain. Patience is the key because this type of stuff is really moving very, very slowly. Uh, movements per day and even per week, are, you know, show very minimal uh, uh, amounts. So uh, those are my thoughts for TAC. Next is SEC B. SEC B on a daily chart. Okay. I like SEC B because, um, one, uh, we started the changing the direction. Actually, we've already gone through the first wave, and this is just a pullback that we've been waiting for. And uh, right now, it respected the... Uh, MA20 line, okay? We ended green today, and uh, when we touched the MA20, there was a bounce that's happening. Volume is still there, a little higher than the usual. The cloud serves as your average right there, but uh, we're slightly higher than the average. And your previous resistance here, look at this. This was your previous resistance, and we're a little bit higher than that level right now. And uh, so what I can say here is that if you want to get in, um, try to observe best entry would be around the 120.250 area, 120.288 area in that level, okay? So these things that I, I mentioned, I see the potential, but I one thing I can assure you, no one can really perfect that. It can happen in the next few days or it can happen tomorrow. But right now, if you're going to just, if I'm just going to solely um, make a comment, these, I mean, these comments are solely based on uh, my perspective and my profile. Now, if you want to know what my profile is, I'm a position trader, mid to long term holder for the stocks that I engage in. So I am not really very fond of transferring from one stock to the other. Uh, reason for that is I cannot really sustain it because I have a full time job. And you would notice most of the time I would record my my videos late at night because this is the only time I'm free. So if I may recommend, you have to also, you know, reflect on your profile before you start engaging in the market. Who are you in the market? You have to answer that. Otherwise, you will not be able to uh, facilitate a, a very effective trade or a very effective strategy because you don't know what your real play is. And your real play is influenced by your profile. Okay, so I hope you were able to get a few insights from my video today. Uh, catch my next video. Uh, I'm still studying some stocks. If I see another uh, stock that is promising, I can record. But uh, most likely, I will be doing the next one tomorrow. So feel free to drop a comment. If there's a stock you'd like me to review, I will be gladly to. I will be very glad to re review that for you and record a, a video just for that. Okay. In the meantime, thank you for watching and bye bye.